here that we care about. Let's see, Joe, which field do we care about here? Uh, still don't care about that magic. There you go. We care about the magic. Why do we care about it this time? Uh, so we can 64. 64 or 32, yep. This optional header magic, I'm showing the 32-bit version right here, but this magic is saying interpret this optional header as a 32-bit or 64-bit one where we've got, you know, 64 or 32-bit values in for some of this stuff based on what the magic value is, right? What else do we care about? Sarah? What's any field in here that we care about? Uh, the image base. Image base. Why do we care about it? It's, um, is that the start address? It's where the thing is asking to be loaded into memory. It's saying this is the start location where I want my file to be mapped into memory, basically. Yep. What else? Yes. You want that uh, data directory at the end. Certainly. Data directory, we're going to see over and over again, right? So we care about that. The reality is that it's embedded at the end of the thing. Your different tools may show it as kind of separate or not, but it really is just embedded at the end. And uh, what do each of those entries in the data directory look like? Hint and name. Nope. Uh, hint and name, you're thinking about imports. Yeah, arrays, right? There, it, it's an array, and so there's going to be two entries per <coughs> entry in this thing. So this is basically an array of data structures called image data directory. Oh, the union. What does one of those look like? Say again? It's the union. That was that union string. It's not a union, no. It's not a group. RBA in size. RBA in size. It's sort of, it's a structure. It's not a union structure. It's just a plain structure where the first field of the structure is the RBA and the second <coughs> field is the size. So for every entry in this, it's two, 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 two. RBA size, RBA size, RBA size. All there at the end of this uh, thing. All right, what's another thing we care about? John? The DLL characteristics. Yep, DLL characteristics. What's an example of DLL characteristics? Uh, is that like NX? Yes, NX, right? Non executable memory. What's another DLL characteristic? Dave? What's another DLL characteristic, Oliver? Is it cacheable? Say again? Cacheable? Uh, yes. Yes. Not cached, right, is one of them. Not paged is another one. ASLR. ASR, right? Wait, not cache, not page. No, that's a section characteristic. Oh. Yeah. I'm trying to just picture the slide in my mind. But yes, those are, see, we got characteristics up in the file header. We got characteristics down here at the option letter. We got characteristics up in the section headers. It's all good. All right, what's another thing we actually care about on here? Paul. Section alignment. Section alignment. And so why do we care about that? How is that used? That gives you the, the basically page size of where each section is. Yep, so that's supposed to be used to basically say for each of those sections, when they get mapped into memory from disk, they should go on alignments of whatever section alignment is. That's another thing we care about, Jesse. Yeah, file alignment. All right, file alignment, how do we use that? Yeah, does the same job for the physical file. Yep, same job for the file. Sections in file, here's the alignment. If we don't have enough space in our section, we pad it out to the size of alignment. Are there any other things we haven't covered in here? Yes, one other important one. We haven't really dealt with it. I think you might have got a few quiz questions if you happen to run into it, but yes. Address of entry point. Address of entry point, absolutely. Why do we care about it? Not sure. It is the first place where we execute code. So if you want to set a breakpoint with your debugger, you just look at the header and you'd say, I'm going to set a breakpoint on that particular address. Now, that's an RVA, so that's another thing where you, if you want to set a breakpoint in the debugger, you've got to say either, you know, hello world plus Whatever that is, or you do, you do image base plus address of entry point to get an absolute virtual address, and then you'd set a breakpoint on that address. I think that's everything. Size Good of job. image. Size of image, yes. Last one. And why do we care about that? It's the size of memory you have to allocate to fit. Yes. Size of memory, the OS loader basically has to allocate to cover this entire range. There, you know, there can be gaps within there because the sections aren't actually using all of it, but 
you know, I, for purposes of this class and purposes of the quiz, you can think of it as the equivalent of like start at the beginning, go to the RVA of the last section, plus however big the section is, and that's what the president would should be. I should say, and, you know, part of the reason I say this is for the purpose of this class is when I was doing my randomizations, I wasn't updating the size of the image and the executable was weren't working. So if you don't, if this is not accurate, your code will just not run. This is too small, basically. So if that's smaller than you know, all of your sections added up, you know, the RVAs of your sections added up. So that's kind of why, you know, while I agree with your interpretation of how much memory is this using, you could add how much they're actually using. From the perspective of the OS loader, if you don't actually have that being the last virtual address plus whatever size it is, 